guys and welcome to another edition of Lucy's Quick Word. I got you with all the gist and the sanitizing. <laughs> Let's go. So first of all, we thought that the AMVCAs would just come and then go for 2020. But no, it actually still had some things <laughs> in store for people. Now it was announced during the week that all those who attended the AMVCAs from the top to the bottom should go and self-isolate. That's because one person who attended the AMVCAs has the coronavirus and may have come in contact with a lot of people. Now, some celebrities were really happy that they did not make it to the AMVCs, while others who actually attended started to self isolate. Some had already started self isolating beforehand, before even the announcement, while others started self isolating. And then people were coming out to say, please do not go out, stay at home, you don't have anything to do. But for those who actually went for the AMVCs, just stay at home. Like, guys, we really need to take it. <laughs> down a little bit because it's more about fear right now than it is for information just sanitize your hands and stay safe now the good thing about this whole thing is some countries are already being able to contain the virus not cure it but contain so i'm very very sure that very soon hopefully this whole thing will be a thing of the past did you see ik osaki odua trending on social media Guys, that was because certain people actually revealed that IK contracted the coronavirus. Now, IK was like, I really do not do this, but I have to do this. Take a look. I'm seeing um, people passing messages on WhatsApp that I traveled to London, came back with the coronavirus, took it to AMBCAs, took it to um, some club. Truth is, I haven't been to London in a very long time. I haven't been this year. Yeah. Um, also, I haven't been to that club at all this year. And I also don't have the coronavirus. Guys, please, let's not spread fake news at this time, all right? I'm healthy, I'm happy. My entire family is healthy and happy. We're just self-isolating. We're just uh, social distancing, keeping ourselves away from other people as you should. Well, people, when it comes to things like this, trust me, you are the only one that can actually speak for yourself. But all I'm going to be saying is, guys, stay safe and stay healthy. Moving on to the very next story. Now, did you get the 10 million naira that was shared on Wednesday? Like you did not? Oh, let me tell you all about it. Now, on Wednesday, Ron Town came on Twitter to state that he was going to be sharing 10 million naira to his fans to help them through this coronavirus period. So, Ron Town decided to come out to give 20,000 naira each to, I think, almost 500 people. And people were scrambling and sending their account numbers and things like that. Now, the thing about this whole thing is, he is not even the only one that actually did giveaways during this period when it comes to Nigeria. But people were complaining that, you know, you don't really go out and be asking for money. Don't you have shame? Don't you have dignity? Like, guys, people, like, this is the reason why people are depressed. This is the reason why people do not ask for help in the first place. Because they will be judged. Because people will look down at them. People will be talking to them. Anyhow, guys, if you know that you cannot help anybody during this period, do you know what you do for me? Just please. Shh. Do you understand? Shh. Reality TV show Ultimate Love will be ending a week early. And that is because of the coronavirus. Coronavirus is getting real. <laughs> okay, so organizers actually put out a statement saying that they had to close early because of the coronavirus. And in a bid to help to flatten the curve. Now, mates, listen. I really did not. Sincerely, I did not feel the Ultimate Love show. For this edition i don't know whether it's because it's the maiden edition or because they were trying too hard or they were just putting some things in place that was not just coming in i don't even really know what would have made it look that way but trust me i really did not feel ultimate love for this edition maybe the next one who knows but for all the ultimate lovers out there ultimate love ends march 29th now going over to five cheap foods that can help you boost your immune system during this period of coronavirus let's go these cheap foods I'm going to be talking about are things that we have lying around in our environment, in our kitchen, and we probably just turn a blind eye to it. The very first one is citrus fruits that are actually high in vitamin C. We're talking about oranges, tangerines, lemons, limes. They really help to boost our immune system. Second cheap food that you can actually get is the red bell. Like, forget my English. It's called tatashe in the yoruba language it basically has two times guys two times the vitamin c that you would get in citrus fruits like guys i know people always say that pepper does not really have nutritional value but right now tatashe actually has two times the nutritional value the third 
third one is garlic now i know that some people might just be like okay garlic but yeah you can have them in your kitchen you have them everywhere you could actually just take some garlic and add them to your food because it helps to reduce or lower your blood pressure because right now a lot of people their blood pressures are like what <laughs> so to just help you to reduce your blood pressure or lower your blood pressure you need garlic and also to boost your immune system number four is ginger now some people will be like oh ginger it makes my mouth smell it does it but seriously talk about the benefits of taking ginger it actually surpasses whatever breath and plus you're staying at home so you can always brush your teeth so ginger also helps to boost your immune system plus it helps you fight things like sore throat and of course nausea last but not the least is the yogurts i'm not talking about the sweetened yogurt too i'm talking about plain yogurts that actually have high level or high portions of vitamin d it will really help you boost your immune system so if you're complaining that oh it's not sweet it's just so plain you can also accompany them with fruits just to you know spice it up a little bit but it has to be plain yogurt and if you cannot get yogurt you can always go for milk simple can you see so talk about staying healthy and boosting your immune system those are the five things that you need to stay healthy and strong during this period that is it for this week's edition of Lucy's Quick One. Till next time on Lucy's Quick One, I got you with all the gifts to make you happy. Stay calm, stay clean, and of course, stay cautious. Bye.